how do you pause? Take a time out. You know, Dove Seidman talks about when we pause a machine, it stops. When we pause a human being, we begin. And so specifically, when it comes to taking a pause, how do you use that pause to evaluate your own leadership and learning journey? You know, whether it's a, a spiritual or a, a physical, everyone has to find their, their way to re-energize. And for me, that's generally through physical fitness and post-fitness, I sit in the sauna and I can just think. And I need that time to just think, and I, I embrace that. Uh, if you're on my staff, you see my schedule, and it's purposeful. I'll block off no less than an hour and a half during lunch, and I won't eat lunch. I, I go to the gym, and I want the Marines and sailors to see me in the gym working out, even at this age. And, you know, uh, I, I just think it's important. And I use that, that, that fitness uh, opportunity uh, for me to recharge. Like, I know what my strengths are. And I also know what my weaknesses are. And I work on my weaknesses to try to build on them. And during that time of thinking, you know, I assess and make sure that I'm, I'm trying to do that. The other piece is for the, the same process for the people you lead. So if you have a subordinate uh, people that work for you, they're going through that same thing. And what I try to do is I try to help them. I want to, you know, like I say, dig down deep into their heart and understand what their weaknesses are. And it's not to get them in trouble. It's to help them grow and help them solve those. Because their natural tendency isn't to show me those weaknesses. They want to show me their strengths. They want to, you know, I want to see the good scores and the, but you know, that human side, we all know that there are weaknesses. 